हाँ ये Yeah, I've been I haven't been here in like six months. The food. Yeah, we put the food on this food. You can always connect it to your tab and you just tell them your last name. Okay. Right. So there is an order. Um, that's the project. Okay, so right here, this one in this hand, that's our hummingbird. Mm -hmm. And that's that one. This one is your uh, hop garden. And that one. This is your Battlefield Bob. Then we reach back. That that's one. our uh, Oktoberfest. And that's our uh, Big Oak right there. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's where the hummingbird starts. And then you work your way around. Oh, alright. Yeah. Thank and you. And this one's the red, the red oak. Oh, it's yeah. one of his favorites. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Joe, what do you want? Uh, like, I don't want any tacos or any crap. Oh, yeah. I want bratwurst and pretzel and beer cheese. Okay. Can I borrow some plates? Yes. And I want red onion, like red onions and stuff on the bratwurst. Okay. Okay. Alright. If I see anybody taking it, I'll, I'll stop them. Ah, oh, that is my favorite. How are you guys doing today? Are you talking to me? No. Oh. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm doing fat and fabulous. Fat boy. Uh, I haven't been here in like, what, six months maybe? Ah. <sighs> 
Wonderful. I forgot what you asked me to order, so I did order the pretzel with a beer cheese. And then I ordered you a pretzel with onions and uh, mustard and sauerkraut. Yeah, that's what I always get. Oh, uh, I do beer can. Yeah. Yep. Good on an empty stomach? Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and you were on Black Oak. That's very that. Style double box. That's that new. They had that when I, they were here last year. Right. They had that when we were here last year. coming here in mommy's car but I don't remember if that's because our car died or it had to be because why would we take mommy's car when we had our car yeah It was when they started, you know when it was, it was when around the time they started dropping the mask mandate, so it had to be like February or March. I think it was February that we were here. Yep, it's been, it's been 10 months since I was here last. exemption and got it really easy. That was funny. It's funny they need the church that.
you can come and out with me. Of course, Daddy. Next week is clear play. Yep. And the oak room. Oh, okay. I gotta find out about that too. It's in South End. Do you know where the uh, uh, pub? Do you know where the uh, cow, uh, the the pub is with the little cow statue? What? The pub in South End next to the train with the cow statue. Yeah. Next to Bland Street. Yeah. And if it's a bunch of money for a table, we're just going to find another club to go to. I don't want, you know. You know what? We can find that out before we get there. There's more people in here or out there. There's really nobody out there. Nobody. Wow. Hey, Daddy. You know what's messed up? It's funny how some blind girls try to do a marriage of convenience just to get out of the town they live in, just like some sighted girls do to get out of the country they live in. I mean, I'm just saying. And I don't blame her one who's bit. Who's the blind girl? Who's the, who's, who's the girl? No. I don't know why it would be Kimmy because Kimmy lived with. Uh, If I lived in a town like that, I can't say that I wouldn't do that. BMW. Is that who's having a party? Is that where the party is? No, the...
You know where I can't wait to go? Back, back to the t the Roaring Riot tailgate. That was so much fun. No, she told me she would talk to them about it in the car. Are they gonna bring us our food here? Huh? Oh! I got a script. Uh. What they do? Thank you. She brought you the food, yo. Oh, thanks. Here's your grub, man. Yeah, I'm hungry. Right here. Wait. Right in front of your thing, and here's your uh, breath, okay? Here's my wet. Red souls and beer cheese. I love that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna put the beer cheese here. All right. You know they changed the world, the name of uh, the sauerkraut during World War II to uh, Liberty Cabbage. No.
So who's the guy that gave us an excuse to come here? they ought to do here? They ought to have a Christmas market. You know that, Daddy? Where? Here. Well, you know like the German Christmas markets? No. Germany is famous for their Christmas markets. Oh, I know that. You know, I wonder, I was wondering how the, um, mm -hmm. October fast would have been there. I wonder how the what? October fast would have I can't hear you. October fast Um, they mean in the beer? You mean the Oktoberfest beer? Yeah. I don't know. I've had it before because, um, remember that steakhouse in Chapel Hill? You know what would be awesome? If the NFL had an Oktoberfest game in Germany. <clears throat> Which would make sense for them to do, because a lot of Americans travel there for Oktoberfest. They had one... They, they played in Frankfurt this year, didn't they? Yeah, and Munich. They did? Mm-hmm. And if the Panthers ever play during Oktoberfest, guess who's going? Me? And you. You know, I, I wonder if 
when do people think? Like most people think Oktoberfest is like the month of October. It's not. It's the month. It's leading up to October. Yeah, pretty much. Just like Christmas markets, most of them close on the 23rd. You know, being such a Catholic city, I always wonder where. Huh? What, Joe? Because it's such a Catholic city, I, I wonder what it would be like to spend Christmas in New Orleans. Yeah, it would be interesting. Maybe we can do. Maybe we can swing it one year. Who knows? Remember we, when we were in South Park Mall? Oh, what are you doing? I, bet, I know there's some stuff in some of those stores that cost as much as our trip to Washington. I'll be feeding me some of your beer. Oh. Let me have some before you steal it all. I don't want any breakfast. I need dipping my Hey, Danny.
for giving us a reason to come here. Awesome. I haven't been here in 10 months. I'll be back, man. Okay. Uh, you that pressure before I get back. Oh, you know I will. Because then you're going to steal a beer cheese like you are now. You're talking about YouTube. YouTube ain't gonna pay you much. Yeah, YouTube you gotta have like a thousand followers, and then you have to monetize the channel. And then, you know. But look at the sleep channel. Like people that pay for, uh, you know, like you ever go on there and it has like a fireplace or a sleep channel, meditation, yoga channels. Where you don't have to put your face out there, but you still you look at the views. You're like two million views for like a cabin fire, you know. Like you're not living comfortably just off of YouTube unless you're like Jake Paul. Yeah, Jake Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I have YouTube, but I just mainly use it as a, um, like, uh, basically a photo album so I can delete, like, so I don't use the, all the storage on my phone for all the photos. Because I like to have photos of everything. Because, like, say, uh, like, if this place were to cease to exist, like, 30 years from now, I'd still have video of it. 
Yeah, that's the cool thing is you work once and you get paid over and over and over for your business. And then you got Vimo, you got Daily Motion. So you could have one video on 10 platforms. Yep. But YouTube has, I'm pretty sure YouTube, because it's Google, has the best um, accessible interface. Because, like, me, I'm blind, so. Okay. Yeah. How do you, do you, do you have, like, a service that translates and stuff for you? Like, how do you Yeah, all iPhones come with voiceover on them. Oh, okay, so you can hear them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have all those. Huh? You can make your own channel about that. Like yeah. Like a lot that. of people already have, believe it or not. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people in the world in general, so. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a channel um, called uh, Five Ninth Avenue Project about um, Nelson Sullivan, who's like the first video, who's like the, he's often thought of as the first vlogger. And he had a bunch of videos of Greenwichville, of like New York City in the 1980s. It's so, it's so cool. Yep. Like I listened to like one it was rain on a tin roof and I was trying to sleep one night. So I turned that on and like it was cool, you know, like maybe sleeping. Yeah. Listening to rain outside or, or snow on a cabin or something like that. You know, like they have these weird listening you just type them into YouTube like rain on a tin roof. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I do that all the time. If I want to, if I, I want to hear traffic from certain like a, a particular city, I just type it in on YouTube, and there's probably some results for it. Yeah, video. Yeah. Mhm. Mm like you, know, like Cairo, Egypt is one of the noisiest cities in the world. I found that on YouTube. You, you, and you can learn how to do anything on there. We learned how to make uh, beef jerky on YouTube. Really? Yeah. So somebody showed you how to do it? Um, yeah, like my, I had, because my buddy used to um, give us this uh, deer jerky. And it was so good. I was like, you know I live in the, I live in the city, so I couldn't get... You know, there's no way I could get deer. Yeah. So, and I'm like, you know what I should do? I should make beef jerky. So I, I had got a, a meat dehydrator. And I learned how to, um, and we learned how to use it based on YouTube. And I remember I made some beef jerky one time. I had uh, made Old Bay Faith, uh, flavored beef jerky. Old Bay was like... Yeah. Which... I really thought it was going to turn out different, but like the solution you hear, uh, you hear the meat in is kind of salty. And Old Bay is salty. So it was real salty, but everybody loved it. I had brought it to school and every... every it, the little baggie that I had brought to school... It's good on shrimp. Huh? And yeah, that's what it. That's what it's used for. Oh yeah. They call it frogmore stew. Where? It has like it doesn't have any frogs. It's just corn, um, potatoes. Oh yeah. New potatoes. And, uh, you can put sausage in there. So you got sausage. And, we did that when, in 2018 when my brother left for Japan. Uh, he wanted a low, he wanted a a low country boil, which is basically what what you just described. Yeah, frog too. Yeah, that's another name for it. 
Mm-hmm. And we made it. And it's just, it's so expensive to make. It, it's very expensive. It was so good though. Who's that you were talking to over there earlier? What, what, you were talking to somebody over there earlier. Yeah, I was talking to the about right now. Is that your dad or your... Yeah, no, that's my dad. Huh? Yeah, I know where he went. Yeah, I know where he went. That was somebody you were talking to before I started talking to you. Yeah, I was a bartender here. Oh. We got in trouble at work because I used to film videos of me working on YouTube and I got in trouble at work for that and I was like see when I used to work there like I, and I had been filming for like I had got laid off but I had worked there like a few years ago and I had been filming for them it was like dude I don't know how many videos I have so I had to delete my whole like my old channel Really? Yeah. yeah, I was like, dude. But see, I guess they they kind of under... I mean, it's kind of... I shouldn't have been doing it because it was wrong. But it's kind of their fault because they make it abundantly clear to sighted people, but not to blind people. I mean, I guess I think that, oh, we can't film. And they got burnt for thinking that, so... Uh-huh. Yeah, they're like, and I didn't go there with them because they could have yelled at me. They could have yelled at me and and came and cussed me out, but they didn't. They were actually nice about it, so I didn't go there with them. That technically it was their fault. Yeah. They ever start if they ever start any crap with me again about what I, what I used to do I, I never I don't do it anymore because and see I didn't know like the issue with it but like if they ever bring it up again like some on my past then I'm gonna tell it that tell them that if they start try to start crap. Huh? Her mom shut it down though. She and my daughter had a YouTube channel for video games she was playing. Oh wow. Oh yeah, gaming channels are like really popular. Yeah. But the problem with those is there's so many of them that if you start one or your daughter starts one, it's very hard for her to get anywhere with it because there's so many other ones that are like more popular. You know, there, and there's a whole community of people that um, they make YouTube videos of, um, of cities, like them walking in different cities. Like there's a lot from New York, and there's some from Miami, there's some from Chicago, all the big cities. But these people literally just walk around the city and show themselves doing it. And they're like, dude, that's cool. Cause I, I love to do that anyway. And that's what I plan on turning my current YouTube channel into when I um, when I when I actually get proficient at um, traveling like by myself. That's what I plan on turning my YouTube channel into. It's just like a like walk to like it's called walk tubing actually. No one does it with Charlotte. There there are some videos of Charlotte. But no one focuses on Charlotte primarily. Huh?
Oh yeah. Yeah, like there there are videos of Charlotte, but no one really focuses on it. They're just gonna show you uptown, maybe South End, maybe Plaza Midwood, maybe Noda. But you know. No one's gonna go and show you um like um no one's gonna show you like the walk I really want to do and put it on film is the start. I don't know if you're familiar with Charlotte, but like, not too familiar. No, not Charlotte. I go through that. One. You what? I'm not too familiar with Charlotte. Oh, so um, I was gonna start in the center of the city, walk to um, one of like walk to a uh, Noda, which is a. Uh, it's an entertainment district. Yeah. And then I was going to walk from Noda to Plaza Midwood, which is a hipster district that um, has more than just entertainment. Then I was going to walk back to the center of the city and go to the center of the city on the other side from where I, I started at. Which would probably take like five hours. But it'd be so cool. flight so I just get wasted and have another beer. Right. <laughs> That's what I do. You get the whole thing and then... <laughs> huh? You get the whole... The whole uh... Yeah. Six flights are, are... Sometimes that... I mean, I've been here when they put four on a flight. I've been here when they put five. I've been here when they put six. And then I get another beer and now I'm good. Uh, I'm feeling good. Red Oak is my favorite beer. Mm. You know, I, even though I come all the way up here from Charlotte to do this, yeah, because that's why my daddy went outside because. Um, to meet up with somebody. So, um, that's why, that's how I got to come here. Were you coming here often, though? No, I wish. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Like, I haven't been here in 10 months. But you could buy Red Oak anywhere. No, not anywhere. Just, yeah. just at Harris Teeter, sorry. Like, you, you can buy the Harris Theater. I remember I traded, I gave him, I gave away my fish tank to my friend so I can go buy a beer cooler and put it in my room. Yeah. That's my first time here yesterday. Huh? My first time here yesterday. And you're back today? Yeah. Boy, you must really love Red Oak. Wow, the drop work really got me. Yeah, those bratwursts are so good. Yeah, I was like, what can I make it up? I'm like, what? I had to get a bratwurst and a pretzel, you know? Mm hmm. Are you only here for a limited time or something? You're like, you here from another part of the country or something? No, I'm in trucking, so I, I truck all over. Oh, wow. Yep. You have to reset. When you hit 70 hours of work, you have to stop. For 34 hours, I mean, you're not allowed by law to move. So I thought I was going to leave today, though, because I've been here 34 hours, and then it was like, I ain't 
And he was like, what? And you were like, oh, I feel like they know. Yeah, you don't have that big truck stop right next to here. Yeah, I had to walk over there, though. I had to walk across the street, you know. The... How do you do that? Is there, like, the light? Or, uh... Yeah, I just walked over there. And, uh, you know, I don't want to drive if I'm having a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, can you fit a big truck in here? Can you what? Can you fit a big truck in this parking lot? No. No, but see, commercial drivers aren't really loud. Uh huh? Like, truck drivers aren't really loud in the uh, So you're breaking the rules, you said? Well, not really, because it's my day off. Oh, okay. But yeah, during the week, you're not, you can't, because you have to drive 500 miles a day. Oh. If I cover 500 miles in four states, you know, in a day. Oh, wow. you got to be straight. You can't be drunk or you, you kill somebody. Yeah. Because, you know, people, I mean, as as the as times have gotten up, have gone on, the drivers have gotten stupider and stupider. So it's, easier, it's unfortunately easier to kill somebody because, like, you're driving a big old truck and some dummy is, like, trying to get, like, trying to hog your lane. Yeah, it's hard. That's why I'm so glad I never drive. I never drove and I probably never will. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad I don't have to go to the DMV because, um... I can just go get a passport card and use that as my ID. Because, um, and the post office, believe it or not, works better than the DMV does. Now, where are you from originally? Well, originally, I grew up in Denver. In where? Denver, Colorado. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's where I went to high school. So is that where um, you're trucking out of? Or? No, I'm trucking out of Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, okay. My cousin used to used to be a um, he used to drive a, a truck, but he used to stay kind of in the southeast area, like yeah, the farthest. I do. Oh wow! <laughs> What's the farthest you go? Yeah, I, I don't go up north that often unless I have to. But. Um, my um, my cousin used to just um, he used to go down to Miami. He used to do Miami, Savannah, Jacksonville, uh, Atlanta, and Charlotte. But yeah, it's a very important job that you do. Yeah, delivering stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for doing it, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the military. Mm -hmm. The world can't go on without truck drivers. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta deliver the goods. Mm-hmm. Stay out on the wilderness like a cowboy, you know? It's like being a cowboy. Yeah. How, uh, how expensive has diesel gotten now? Jesus. Jesus. That is, oh my God, that is ridiculous. It used to be $300, but, you know, but that's yep. 150 gallons of diesel. I know, I mean, I know it's a lot of diesel, but damn, $780, that's almost $1,000 to fill up your tank. Yeah, that only lasts a day and a half. Damn. Did you have to pay for it out of pocket? No, the customers pay that. Like, the people in the stores, you know, that's why everything's so expensive. Yeah. I know. Like, like that's why. Yeah. It all goes back to the, the diesel price. Yep. And I, 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 I ain't even getting political about it, you know? Yeah, we can pass it on to the um, consumer, you know? Yep. The guys paying for the product. They, they're not, you know, the diesel, they have no control over it. Yep. 
that's what you, that's what uh, people like you guys have to do, and that's what um, the higher ups that are supposed to look out for us. That's what they don't care about. Yeah. You know, seven hundred eighty dollars to fill up a dam, and it used to be three hundred. It more than doubled. trip have you heading to? What's that? Where does this trip have you heading to? I don't know yet. I'll have to go uh, to Kentucky next. Oh, damn. Somewhere in Kentucky again. So you're going to have to go, um, well you ain't going to go like you, so you can go um, by Charlotte. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going like every other day. I just wake up and somebody tells me like you got to go to Louisiana or you go to Texas. You what? You don't know where you're going until they tell you. Oh. You just gotta be ready. Yep. You get to see a lot of country that way. Yeah, it's, uh, you never know where you're going. You just wake up and they tell you that you're going to Texas. Where have you gotten to go before? Like, what's your favorite place you got to go? I like uh, Miami and Tampa. Yeah. I like Florida. I like Charleston. I like uh, I like Texas, Louisiana, all of The thing about Louisiana, their roads suck. They'll yeah, tear up your suspension. Oh, yeah. I remember, I don't know if you can see the motion, but I remember riding on a road. It was a little side street in New Orleans. It was like this like a horse it was like wow and you could tell they, they had patched the potholes because they weren't like they didn't just like they didn't make any sound you just felt them well new orleans you said, well see louisiana didn't change their drinking laws uh -huh. 21 like the rest of the united states yep like when i went to um LSU, you can drink when you're 18. Oh, dude. Like like I'm sure that was the hottest college to go to that, at that point. Yeah, but we'll see, once they changed the law, though, the federal government released all that money. They said, you can fix your roads now. Yeah, but they, they haven't done it yet. To punish them, because they didn't want to. Mm -hmm. You know, Louisiana refused to change their drinking laws. Yep. They punished the, I mean, they don't, but they still haven't fixed their roads yet. And they said, um... Because they're like 10 years behind. Like, yeah, and federal money. Yeah. Somebody in New Orleans said that uh, it's really expensive to build a road in New Orleans yeah. because it's because of the geography, it just sinks. And you could build the same road in other cities for like less than half the price of New Orleans. Beautiful city, though. What's it? Oh, yeah. New Orleans and uh, Baton Rouge. No, I've never been to Baton Rouge. I like the, I like the homeless house. Huh? You what? You know what you can do? You can make a YouTube channel and, like, you can put a dash cam on, right? And get, um some microphones you can make a youtube channel of like driving across the um country put it on and, there yeah yeah and like yeah. there's actually there's actually people who do that there's a guy named mileage mike who i don't know how he has time to do he must be some sort of a uh, long haul driver but there's a guy named mileage mike on youtube look him up he, he does that he's done new orleans dc atlanta yeah. florida um, North Carolina. I think he's from North Carolina. Yeah. You could do that. You make it killing. Or no, you wouldn't because YouTube doesn't pay shit. But I mean, but yeah, you could do that. You you um, 
Yeah. Might be a lot of audience for that. Yeah, some people just want to go on a drive and they can't go anywhere. Yeah, like um, like you could show like I don't know, I know there's a um, like there's a guy who um, his name is Timothy French. He yep. um, he has a quest. He's he lives he lives out of his RV. He's a retired firefighter. And his he's on a quest to visit every town center in the in the state of North Carolina. I think he's even trying to do everyone in South Carolina too. Really? Yeah. Well, that's that's what he does. He goes to a town center, he hangs out there, and he drives to another one. No, that's cool. I'm here, girl. <laughs> there he is. Yep. All right, Dad, I had a real fun conversation with that with, with this guy. Well, I gotta see if I can find a picture that your brother made so I can show him what I'm talking about. Can you see that fight? No, I haven't looked at his fight. They, they put your stuff on Facebook, too. So he's not doing his fight? No, no, it's um, Find out if Eric has like a. Like people all over the world, people on there, and then they get people use them. And then you put them on, and then you get a second site on this, C-I-X-E-L-S. I'm not showing you what this is right now. This is my other son speaking English in Japan right now. And here's the other. Me, I can't draw with the crap. November 20, 2021. Guess what you're doing? Eating, eating a uh, bread soda right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember that one. I remember we came because that was the week before we went to the Panthers versus Washington game after Cam came back. He doesn't like to do stuff like when he's commissioned to do it because he gets kind of embarrassed easy. Bankrupt. They don't get it from it. I don't have any 
bitch is that? No, no, no. That sucks. This you would like it. I don't know. There's ba there's barely any left, but no, I don't like it. Why not? They said cough syrup. Hey, <laughs> you crazy? Hey, yeah. The guy outside told me that the beer here is not Pasteur, Pasteur, whatever, Pasteur, Louis Pasteur, pasteurized. It's not pasteurized. Pasteurized. Say it for me. Pasteurized. Pasteurized. So you gotta keep it cold. Yeah. So basically. That idea of mine, yeah, won't, won't work. work. So we gotta take two six packs and squeeze them. After I can put, really I can put the, I can put at least one in the middle. Super dumb. Now it's called Caesar Super Dome. Huh? 
Like a dog, every time they talk about service animals on the train, so we can try to ride for free. Is that how they work? Did you ever hear the saying, the blind leading the blind? Yeah, I've always got it. You heard that saying? But I'm moving my side right now, and every day it's been great. Did you hit 40? Yeah, I'm 48 now. Oh, yeah. You got to wear a meter. Yeah, that's what happened to me. I never looked at you. I never wore a black in my whole life. And then I really started appreciating like, the stuff I take for granted, you know? You take things like your hand or your hands, you know? And your hand will stand up right. You know, some people can't stand up, you know? Some people can't stand up. That's a governor implant. Yeah. Uh, what I show you is you go back to this thing, you've got a master's degree. party I went to.
picture of the blind house party I went to. Yeah. We 
He acts like he's not a Panthers fan, even though we got PSL, like original PSLs. Yet, have you? <laughs> this is the people who used to work with. I still work with some of them. Thank you. 
And it ends up being true. That's the that's the crazy part. And he and he's supposed to be able to see. <laughs> oh, I love making blind jokes. I was on the train one time.
you know, that's an acronym. It's like, what, Aries and Acton? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what is this? Huh? Yeah, he's like, and I'm like, yeah, what is it there for? He's like, containment area for relocated Yankees. And I'm like, wow. Is that com is that common? The whole reason that uh, 
Lion Services exists in the first place is to help the blind people and help uh, blind people and give us work to do. Because seventy percent of us are unemployed. Well, I worked there a year and a half, but I got laid off for ten months, and then I got called back three weeks ago. Oh, I was so happy. That's what he worked for. Yep. Yeah. They're talking about that. I'm talking to a guy I started conversation with. Looking for it. There's a coffee shop we go to in Cary that is all about uh, uh, the uh, very similar circumstances. It's a workforce training for a coffee shop. It's a 100% non profit. Oh, wow. Uh, for, uh, People with uh, additional needs for the workforce, but it serves as a uh, workforce development for people with handicaps or, or additional needs. Uh, oh, wow, is it uh, Biddy and Buzz? Uh, we have one in Charlotte. Okay. I was going to go apply for a job there if these people didn't call me back by uh, January. So yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh wow, that's cool. But you know what else I did? You know, I, I further handicapped myself by becoming a Panthers fan. Now I'm hopelessly addicted to the Panthers and they keep breaking my heart and taking my money. Yeah, I know, but you everything know. happens for a reason, you know. What, Daddy? I'm gonna go to the bathroom soon, okay? Okay. Uh, how's your beer? Wonderful. So wonderful, I'm savoring it because I don't really want to leave right now. All right. Well, I mean, there's no sense in us hanging out here, All right? What? We're not in a hurry, are we? Where do we need to go? Home. What do we got? No. Yeah, but he don't go out until six. Oh, you were in the army? Yeah, I was in the army. Oh man, thank you for serving. Yeah, thank you. You were doing our doing our helmet straps. Oh yeah. I just. Oh yeah, you know they draw. You know where the businesses draw the line to give military discounts is at us, our job. Yeah. We tow the line. Yeah, everybody else like my, my grandmother was the riveters. Oh wow, really? Back in the day, she was uh, working at air, airplane factories. So. Like the real Rosie the Riveter, or just like? Well, that's just a term they call them. Oh. Yeah, you know, Rosie the River was like a generic. Uh, was like a woman that did man stuff. Yeah, yeah, in the factories. Like oh. stuff that you were doing. Like, oh, we yeah, have several yeah, women that work at our factory. We got some, most of the sighted people that work at our factory are women. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we make. Uh, but yeah, and some of us, some of us are um, are blind from. Uh, some of us have served in the military. What's that? Some of us have served in the military, and I guess gone blind as a result. But like in a way, they never left. Oh yeah. yeah have you ever seen the movie? Uh, oh hi. The scent of a woman with Al Pacino. Huh? Have you ever seen that movie? No. Called Al Pacino, or you can listen to it. It's, uh, but he's he's blind. He got blinded from a grenade in Vietnam. Oh wow! And uh, he sits in his basement. He listens to Hank Williams Jr. And, uh, he's big into Jack Daniels. <laughs> oh wow! 
You know, my uh, I've heard of a movie where there was a there was this lady who uh, was blind and got surgery, and they, I think it, there was several like this, but it was like there was this one where this guy who was blind got surgery to see, but like he, but the thing, the premise of the movie is that he would go blind again and has to get more surgery to make it permanent. And he had so much trouble with be, like learning how to be a sighted person that he couldn't wait for the day where he went blind again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like that's how I feel. Like, dude, I don't want to see. You gotta say this world is ugly sometimes. You know. Yeah. And there's some beautiful women on the outside that are, that are shit on the inside. Yeah, that's right. But if you don't ever see them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, having the ability not, ability not to be scared of some homeless guy on the street. Yeah, like, I mean, unless they're, like, going around, like, cussing out and, like, threatening to kill people. But, like, if they're just out there, like, asking, like, you know, asking for help, I'm not scared of them. Why would I be? I'm glad you came here. It's a nice state. It seems to be. We're doing a lot of work here. So oh, wow. A new plant. A new plant? So y'all just, so like, um, y'all plan to stay here forever? Yeah, she does. <laughs> you, what do you want to go to? I'm going to see how it works out with her. <laughs> oh, wow. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to move as far away as, uh, I'll probably go to California. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Yeah, it's well, expensive right. as crap, dude. Maybe you're right. I have a friend that was moved from San Diego to the East Coast. It's going to save so much money. She's yeah. She's in the Navy, though, so they pay for her. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's just too expensive out there. I'm old, so I don't know. Just go to, uh, just go to Texas. So we're doing another plant in Charlotte. So that's where she'll be. You're going there, too. Charlotte? I, that's where I, that's where I live at. We were doing it in Cocteau, so we're doing it in the speedway. Oh, wow. Oh, like, that's like the other side of Charlotte from where I live. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a big town. It's, it's, Charlotte is actually bigger area-wise than a lot of major cities are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot Huh? I mean, from north to south is like 20 miles. It's about the size of the war. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Like, you know, a lot of major cities like Miami are kind of small, like the city proper. Yep. Or um, New York is pretty big, but New York is so compact. Yep. And, and Washington, D.C. is small. Geographic wise, it's more than the um, it's more than the population of Ireland that lives in the DC metro. What is? Well, yeah, I had, um, yeah, I had Savannah truck. Okay, Indianapolis, like, Metro is, like, the same size as Charlotte, right? Yeah, the city is about the same size. Charlotte has about 900, 3,000 Oh, wow, like, in the city or the metro area? In the county that we call Marion County, which is Oh wow. You know, this is in the top 15. Yeah. Yeah, they give me a year of notice. I mean, it's like a lot of people a lot of people like to host events there because it has like a really like compact downtown area. 
I have a friend that used to go there a lot, and he's like, he's blind now, but he used to be able to, um, he used to like travel the country like working on projects or something. I, I forgot what he said he did. But he's like, like he's about the only person in town that knows more about uh, public transportation and knows more about the area than I do. And he isn't even from there originally. Like I am? Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, but um, he's like, he will talk about like local, he will talk about the streets in different cities like he were a local. I'm like, dude, how do you know this stuff? Like, I, like, I consider myself like well versed in different cities, but like, this dude knows everything. Like, I'm talking about a certain state, and this is like, oh yeah, I drove by it, it's some like street, like, you know. 58th Street or whatever city. Like, man, dude, how do you know this? Huh? Yeah, I do too, but like, you know, I know it from Wikipedia, but he's like, yeah, I, I've been there. Like, man, where haven't you been? Then one thing you told me is like, one thing I will never do, I will never use paratransit in Los Angeles again. Because the traffic's already bad, and it's a shared ride, and it took me three hours to go 10 miles. I don't even want to go there. Oh, wow. I don't even want to go there because, like, I, I like watch videos of it. Like, listen to videos of it, and it's kind of quiet city. It's not really lively, it's just like strip malls and whatnot. Like, kind of like, it's like, why would I do that when I can go to Charlotte? And there's not like homeless people on top of each other in Charlotte. Yep. Yeah, Yeah, not that I'm scared of homeless, but like, you know, some of them are, aren't doing too well mentally, and they, you know, can be dangerous at times. And everything else is so visual, so like, why do I, why do I want to go there? Yeah. I don't, I don't, San Francisco, on the other hand, I do like to go there. San Francisco. Well, that's expensive too. I know, but that's a big, that's like a city city. Yeah. That's like, that's like a small, like that area is small too. They, um, they have more water area than they do land area in San Francisco. Oh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, they're so good. Yeah, you should get the pretzel and beer cheese. Huh? Yeah, the pretzel and beer cheese. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet you. You too. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joey. Thank you for the talk. Of course. Have a nice day. Me too. Can you make sure it's not raining out there? Alright. Joey, thank you. Just to go to your tax sale. That was. And just watch. Watch how all the stuff goes down, and then the second time just go bid on something. You can just go to the, listen to buying a bunch of horses and just go do it, you know. Go put some money on somebody's ground. Pay someone's taxes and see what happens. Uh, no. Uh, so they did just like it. The individual there. How are you doing? Well, oh, you're helping that person because you're doing. buying them time. You know, that year when you pay your taxes, yeah. you're, you're giving that owner an extended period of time up to a year. I'm oh, enjoying myself that. over here. So it's not, it's not a, people think, yeah, oh, you're being cool. They think somebody's house. Yeah, they're just not that way. They're going to do a little bit. Where's the meat? It's not the county of the county. I well, I live in Charlotte, but you know, my dad has business in the area, and every now and then we get an excuse to come over here. 
So if I'm not working and this place is open, then we'll see you in the middle of the day. But that hasn't happened in about 10 minutes. That hasn't happened in about 10 minutes. Yeah, you got their money and you got their money. Yeah, you made money, they made money. I work at Lions Services. Okay. Like I said, if we you make know, stuff for the military. You know, the homeless drafts and the, the backpacks. I don't make water bottles. And uh, like, you eat the coffee, you can bring the guns. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not going to be I wish we had like a, a, a gun factory for the military. They didn't play a gun and be like, yeah, I'm done. We make a gun and we test the blue. <laughs> <laughs> and do like a rental owner too. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah. You know, like the department that I work in is actually called IRS. So I would like to go, like, sometimes I would go and joke and tell people, yeah, I'm lying, I work in the IRS. <laughs> No, it's just a, it's a yes. Oh, I used to work in a, uh, the aviation hydration department where we used to make the backpacks for the pilots. So uh, I like they're like, oh, what do you do for work? And I'm like, oh, I work in aviation. They're, and then they're like, look, uh, you fly planes? I'd be like, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I used to love to do. I love to trick people. I love to mess with people. Yeah. Like one time I was on the train with this dude, and we were talking about uh, traveling. And I love you see, I love big cities because they got the noise and the food and the excitement. He's like, I don't like big cities. He's like, why not? And he's like, because they're garbage seats. I said, really? I went to New York and I, didn't, I spent a week there and I went to all my girls and I didn't see any garbage. He's like, where'd you go? And I said, I'm blind, man. <laughs> and he's like, oh shit, I just got gas. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, I think I feel like I've been here when I was visiting. Yeah, there's a private party somewhere, so it's forcing people into the into other areas. <laughs> yeah, some of the people that are just just left are like, yeah, I'm gonna go outside for a little bit. There's not rain out there. Yeah. As soon as one lazy, you know what, it has to crash too. It kind of works a lot, but not as much as me. I make stuff for the military. I got to be on my A game, and I got to make quota. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I'm pretty good at it. These are the muscles I got from working. See? Not me. These are muscles I got from working. So I can do, uh, depending on what I'm doing, I can do like 2,500 a day. To fight back, you can go play the game. Yep. Yep. And, uh, see how the game I like to play with my bosses? Because my bosses are the ones that, uh, my bosses are the ones that fill up the, uh, that, that, you know, replenish the stuff, like replenish the work and replenish the whatever. Yeah. I don't like to play a game with them. I like to play, uh, where, uh, they lose if they let me run out. And I lose if, they, if I can't run out. So I try to run out. And see, they don't know this because some of them don't really understand English too well. So I can't really explain it to everyone and make it fair. But yeah, I know this. Like, I try to outpace the horses. And I wouldn't make it count for myself if it wasn't, if I didn't have quality. So I always make sure everything is done right, everything is done quick, before the boss is filled up. But sometimes I win. Yep. Huh? I do. None. Just bragging rights. Self-satisfaction. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not a
you know, it's uh, self satisfaction is important, you know. I always like to compete with myself. It's the best competition. Every party knows each other very well. So I like to outdo myself. And, and like, you know, you have a buggy of straps that has like a thousand, maybe two thousand in it. I do that buggy in two days. Sometimes, even one day. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Yeah? How you got me along with your beer? Great. Good. I don't know where there is any place better to be, though. Home, damn it. Home. <laughs> <laughs> but I go there every day. I haven't been here in 10 months. Isn't that, isn't that true? Like, you know. I go there every day. I live there. I sleep there. I, said, I sometimes would joke about the fact that uh, sometimes our special transportation takes so long to get there. I joke about, yeah, we're going to have a 24 hour challenge. We're going to work for 24 hours and see how much we can do. And they're like, they're like, yeah, huh? That's a long time. Yeah, but you know what? If they waive the uh, drinking rules, I'm sure we can get a lot done in 24 hours. At, like from 4 to midnight, or like from 4 to 7.30, uh, we can get a lot done. I mean, I'm sure there's studies in like Ireland or someplace like that. Where, like, I wonder what, how much productivity we would have if we let everybody be drunk when they were. I don't know the quality would be so good if that happened. Huh? I don't know the quality would be good. So, would be so good if that happened. Some people are laser focused when they have a buzz, and I'm one of them. Huh? Are you guys someone with you? Oh, I do. Oh. He just was, there's, a, there's a food list over here, and he wanted to know if he could have I came up and asked if he could have a food list. Oh, okay. I'm going to close the tab. Yeah, you can close the tab, because if I drink another one, I'll be bloated and fly away. Cheers. Uh, they just took my beer glass, but I would. Oh, they did. Yeah, as soon as, uh, as, soon as she brings me a beer back, I'm going to have to do it. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Bridgeboro. Oh, wow. Yeah, so in between Starlight and here. Yeah. You know, and this is between uh, Charlotte, what? Well, Greensboro is between Charlotte and Raleigh. <laughs> Greensboro between uh, Charlotte and Raleigh. Yes, it is. Almost right in the middle. Yeah. And that'd be awesome for craft beer. Like, they'd have their own craft beer scene, and you could get, like, the big one, the big names from Charlotte and Raleigh. That'd be pretty cool. Do they have a big craft scene? Yeah, have a big craft beer scene there? In Raleigh or Greensboro or where? In Greensboro. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know in Raleigh they have Lone Rider. Raleigh has a huge... Like, I'm familiar with Charlotte. Did you go to Old Mecklenburg? Yeah. I like Old Mecklenburg. Yeah, they're good. You, uh, what beer do you like there? Huh? What beer do you like at... Uh, Captain Jack. Captain Jack. And Fat Boy. Fat Boy tastes kind of like a battlefield right. here. Yeah, like, uh, 
like uh, my favorite one from Old Mecklenburg is Conquer. Oh yeah, my brother is a, my brother likes that. But you know when it, when you're in Charlotte, it's kind of hard to find a restaurant that has red oak. Yeah, that's so. But uh, red oak is available all over the state. Yeah, you can buy it in the Harris Teeter. Yeah. Cheers. Feeling good right now. Where did I go sit next to you? Go that we were talking to you. Huh? Where did I go and sit next to you? Go? Oh. All right, my beer is finished. Give some other yeah. Alright, I'll see you later. Yeah, nice meeting you, Joe. Nice meeting you too. I gotta, I gotta go now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I can uh, you recently get your stick for it? Uh, I got it. Okay. Well, crap, I don't know where it went. Yeah, no, there. No, no. there it is. I got it. I think so. Mm -hmm. See, I could get it with my feet. I just picked it up with my feet and then brought it up so I didn't have to bend down. Yeah. I've had this thing since I was very little. And I never I never will leave the house without my cane, my hearing aid, or my cochlear implant. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Thank you for serving. All right, thank you. And uh, I remember that guy I was telling about on YouTube, uh, Mileage Mike. Pilot Mike, well, yeah, Mileage Mike, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out when yeah. I get out there. So. Yeah. You can make some pretty good, you can do some pretty good, uh, got all the places you go to. Yeah. Yeah, make videos everywhere you go. Yeah, all right, you be well and be safe. Okay, okay. you too. All right. You ready, Covington? Yeah. You need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Come on. I know. Bye, bartender. Yeah, over there. Bye, bitch.